Hi and welcome back to Rideshare Buddy UK and my name's Kevin. It's a Tuesday. I've just come back from the car wash even though uh, Storm Debbie is here washing my car anyway but uh, giving a good wash. I'm on my way to Cumbran. It's half past one. I'm going to try giving Cumbran a try today so we'll see what happens over there. It, it has been um, Picking up quite recently, quite a lot of surges out in Cumbran, so we'll see what happens. It's Tuesday, so I've had holiday pay top up, and I've had £32 this week for top up. So I need to think about that when I uh, do my figures later. I might change these um, vlogs from what was predominantly a Tuesday to a Wednesday, because on Tuesdays I get the holiday pay top up. And that can sort of impact my earnings really and you don't get a true picture as to how busy i am so i might start shifting out to a wednesday instead but today's tuesday it's half past one i'm on the way to cumbran and uh we're going to give cumbran a try uh, let's get out into the uh suburbs a bit instead of working the town center and uh i'll let you know when i get there and i uh log on and what time i log on it's about 20 minutes drive about 10 minutes drive uh, depending on traffic. Okay, so what I've done is I've parked up at uh, Lantarn and Park Industrial Estate. So we've got quite a large industrial estate around here, which we've taken job. I've taken jobs off before with Uber, a couple in particular. I'm also quite close to Cumbran Centre, so there's an opportunity there to pick up jobs there. And I'm not too far away from the Grange Hospital, and we do a lot of work from the Grange Hospital. So. Let's just switch on the app and see what happens. Now, while I'm here, how have your take-ins been? Uh, particularly on Sunday. I had a lot of very low ball offers on Sunday coming through. Uh, a couple I took by mistake, but um, I took them and the mileage rate was as low as £1.10 a mile. Um, there was one which went from Newport Centre out to uh, Laverock, Lanarock, Laverock, out by Barry. It said on the app it was from Newport to Penarth, and I thought it was Penarth uh, Marina was a, a lot of drops and uh, Penarth Centre, but this was Lavernock Rock, which is a long way away from Penarth and almost at uh, Barry Island. Uh, sorry, almost at Barry. And the offer was £23. £23 to go to Barry, basically. Uh, very low balling, down to as low as 110 a mile on a couple of jobs uh, on Sunday. I mean, when I was dropping off at Lavernock, Lavernock uh, I got pinged with a job from Barry back to Cardiff. Now, that's a good eight, nine miles. And they were only offering uh, £7.90. I didn't take that one wasn't worthwhile doing so I didn't take it um, but Sunday was really low ball is this the start of the uber squeeze now that they've got a full complement of drivers and driver growth is exceeding passenger growth are they now going to start squeezing the money out of drivers wasn't quite as bad yesterday but it was still a low taking day yesterday not a great many good paying jobs um, Perhaps they're going to start squeezing the money to try and encourage drivers to take cash work when the cash work comes. If you're not earning enough just doing normal account work, you may be forced into doing cash work. It's not promising. The future as an Uber driver is not promising. Really, you've got to get your own operator's license. Or I can see a lot of uh, drivers going back, a lot of the experienced drivers, will go back to area cars when I'm earning good money and Uber will be left with newbies and idiots who can't even read the map. You know, they can't do quick mental arithmetic to see how uh, little I'm being paid. So that's the way I see Uber going. Um, I've got my operator's license. I've signed up with Holla. I've got new cards being printed, just coming back from Vistaprint. And um, now I've got the the holler QR code so passengers can uh, just 
photograph the QR code, go to the link to download the Hollow app, and my QR code will automatically load me as a favourite driver. I've also got new magnets coming. Uh, I'll show you that when they come. Again from Fist of Print. My old, my current mag mounts are basically just an Uber mag, 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 mag mount. They'll be going, and I'll have my own private ones coming up again with Holla and download the Holla app with the QR code so people can scan the car and download the Holla app, and I'll come up as a favourite driver. And as a favourite driver, it means I'll be featured in all of their requests for quotes. So that'll be good. Let's try and uh, kick off Holla in Newport uh, get the plates on the car next week hopefully and uh, we'll start parking in strategic locations to try and get people to uh, grab the QR code and download the app um, because I don't like the direction of travel for Uber payment rates it's going down and as they get more and more drivers it's going to go down more and more um, in order for them to boost their own profits so we are with Uber still at the moment. Let's carry on with Uber. It's uh, Tuesday afternoon. It's um, quarter to two and I've just switched on the app and I'm just waiting for my first job. Oh, and also before it gets too dark uh, to talk to the camera, I've got my 24 hour uh, test drive of MG next week booked in. So I'll be doing that. I've chosen the uh, MG SUV I really would like to go for the MG5. I do like it, and with it being in the state, there's good luggage space. But the charge times are dinosaur. They really are. 61 minutes to charge to 80%, an hour to 80%. I've got to have at least maximum time, charge time of 30 minutes to 80. And I've got to be able to put in at least 100 miles in 10 minutes, preferably less. Uh, you can't do that with the MG5. It's a dinosaur um, of a slow charge, and that's a shame. So, especially as I've got no home charger. Now, the other thing, I'll drop a link in below, but I'll use it later. It's a really handy tool to find out how much you're going to save, or how much extra you're going to pay on fuel costs if you go over to electric. It's a tool in the... Nathaniel Carr's MG dealership. I'll put the link in below. What you do, you can choose whichever MG car you want um, to test against. Then you put in your daily rate, mileage, how many miles you do per day in the shift. You put in uh, the charge, uh, your EV best offer charge uh, amount. So with me, it's BP Pulse at 60p a kilowatt hour. You then put in uh, the cost of petrol per litre and then you put in the fuel economy of your car and it'll show you how much you're going to save or it'll cost you extra in fuel unfortunately because I do 72 miles to the gallon in the hybrid it's going to cost me a lot of money extra in fueling um, a great deal of extra in fueling but I'll do that in another video you can see how much it's going to cost me in fuel costs if I go over to electric purely because I've got no home charging. If I had home charging, I'd save money. But because I don't have home charging, it's gonna cost me a substantial amount of money. And I do mean quite substantial. And it'll show you the power of a hybrid over a normal petrol car. But that's for another video. Um, I'm still here in Cumberland, uh, Lantarnham Park Industrial Estate. Just waiting for my first job. It's 10 to two. So the school drivers should shortly be heading off to do their school runs and hopefully we'll get a bit of work coming in. If not, if nothing comes in by 2 o'clock, I'll move down to Morrison's in the centre of Cumbran and see what happens there. OK, just got my first job in. I waited around 5-6 minutes for it. It's 1.5 miles away in this very, just down the road, the road going into Newport to Town for £7.60. So it's uh, about five, six minutes to wait for that job to come through. I have to admit, I do love this time of year with the changing colour of, of the leaves. Some of the routes that we go through through Wales uh, are just stunning with the colours.
but this job shouldn't take long then I'll come back to uh, Lantanum I'll base myself in Lantanum and uh, see what sort of work we can get out here in Cumbrand today that was a quick trip up to the railway station from uh, Cumbrian for 760 and just as I was dropping I got pinged with a £34 job from um, the sort of Somerton area and I'm not sure where it's going to I do wish I mean this is one thing that really annoys me about this app is that um, Uber doesn't tell you where it's going to after you've accepted the job and that really does need to change I know they're making big changes to the Uber app in America they could do with bringing some changes to the UK uh, I mean you're flying blind once you've accepted the job I mean you don't always have the chance to read fully um, the, uh, the job details especially if you're turning into the railway station trying to drop a passenger and trying to dodge other cars uh, you don't really get the chance you just uh, accept the job probably not the best thing to do but sometimes if it's only a mile away uh, well 1.4 mile away you just accept it and hope for the best okay that was a um, nice ride out to Westbury on Trim just the other side of um, Cribs Causeway 26 miles for £34. It's about £1.30 a mile, which isn't as bad as it was on Sunday. I wonder if on Sunday they were just testing out new mileage rates and testing out a new squeeze on drivers. I don't know. £1.30 is not too bad. But what I've noticed today, which I've turned down a lot of, is £3.28 jobs. I don't do anything for less than uh, £3.50. Uh, sorry, £4.50 is the minimum fare. I've seen a lot of 328 jobs coming out um, and unless you've actually sat on top of the job at that rate it's just not worth running for uh, can't run much more than 0 0.2 miles at most uh, and I wouldn't even do that uh, I'd have to be actually sat on top of the job to do something that lower rate um, but uh, let's head back uh, we did get a little bit of traffic on the way out to Westbury uh, on the M4 M5 junction. There'd been an accident and it did slow it down quite a lot. Traffic going the other way, there's a bit of a tail back on the M5 going up to M4, but the M4 currently is running pretty clear, pretty good. So hopefully it won't be too long, long uh, before we get back. Um, I mean, I started at 1.30, it's now 3.20. I've got £74.58 on the clock. Uh, it's going to take me about 40 50 minutes to get back. Um, of course, you've got to remember I've got £34 in uh, holiday pay in that amount. So uh, let's get back. Well, it didn't do too badly getting out of Bristol. Only a very short stretch of traffic, and we was able to move on very rapidly. So we're heading now over the uh, new bridge, and it's 20 to 4. Um, because I'm going to be sort of working my way out of uh, Combran, I'm not going to be uh, coming off at Mega. I'll just go straight up and take the uh, Combran turn off and head down into Combran and see if you've got anything to, uh, any work coming out of there. Right, just coming down, um, approaching Junction 24, I've just picked up a job from Windsor Road in Newport out to Pontypool for £15. So let's head out and do that one. Uh, just jumping off at exit 24. Okay, so that was a uh, quick trip out to Sebastopol, um, just outside Cumbran, well, between Cumbran and Pontypool, £15. I'm now heading down into Cumbran. I'm going to take a quick visit to Morrison's, need a quick loo break, and maybe grab a coffee there before we head off to uh, the afternoon shift, well, a later shift. It's half past four. And I've got £89.66 on the clock. 
£24 of Mitchell's holiday pay. So it's going to be a reasonable night, hopefully. Hopefully do about 120 130 maybe a little bit more. Okay, so the time is um, 10 to 5. Just got back from the uh, Lou visit at Morrison's. Unfortunately, the cafe is closed, so I couldn't get a coffee. But it's 10 to 5. Uh, I've got 89.66 on the clock. Less than £34. I think I will start doing videos on a Wednesday, so I don't have to keep subtracting my uh, my holiday pay and just do a straightforward uh, read. But I've been on since half one, so that's half one, half two, half three, half four, about three and a half hours uh, for eighty nine sixty six. So that's okay. Um, I'm in Morrison's and uh, Central Cumbrian, and just waiting for my next job. I'm going to wait till uh, five o'clock. If nothing comes through, I'll take a drive up to Lantern and Industrial Estate again. Because that's we're close to Newport, the hospital, and Cumbrian itself. I may be just a little bit tad out of area being in Morrison's car park for uh, jobs. Because it should be pinging. It's 10 to 5. It really should be pinging quite badly. Saying that, there's no surge in Newport, so maybe it is just quiet. Not normally it is quiet though. I've turned the Bolt app on as well. I'm not sure Bolt operates out this far in the Cumbran. They don't do a lot of work in Newport, it's mainly Cardiff. So uh, we'll see if anything happens on Bolt. Hmm. Yeah, it's five o'clock, uh, nothing's popped up, so I'm going to uh, head towards Lantanum Industrial Estate. Looked at the map, Newport's in search. So if I head towards uh, Lantanum Industrial Estate, you might get something out towards that way. Okay, so it's 20 past five, and I've been down at Lantanum now for 20 minutes. Nothing. I've got a surge going on in Carlion. Newport's popped up a couple of times, and Dufferin is currently in surge. Nothing at all in the Cumbrian. So I can't sit around forever. I have to make a move, and I'm going to make a move back to Newport. Um, and with that time down at Morrison's, it's been half an hour and not a peep of a job. So, let's go to Newport and try and get back to work. Because sitting around doesn't do anything for me. Well, can you believe that? The moment I put it into gear and pulled off, I've got a job coming <laughs> from LaGrange Hospital. Uh, only a fairly short one, um, £7.90. But at least it gets me moving. So let's get this one done from the Grange. Okay, so that was a um, trip down to Pentonville in Newport from the uh, Grange Hospital, £7.35. So at least I'm back in Newport. I am not going to try and get back to Cumbrian. There's just not enough work out there at the moment. Um, so we'll stick to Newport, where I know and love. And uh, we'll park up round the back of the station uh, and uh, see if we can pick up something from the station. Okay, so here we are just at the back of the railway station, just by the Longstay car park. And uh, we'll see if we can get anything coming out of here. It's 20 to 6. Still sort of rush hour traffic. So we might get some commuters coming in from Cardiff. Well, things are pretty desperate today. I mean, it's 10 to 6 now. Been here for about 15 minutes. And nothing. Not a ping in sight. So I think I might just take a little bit of a drive around and see if I can drop on something. But this is bad for the rush hour traffic, rush hour commute time. I must admit, considering how much I've earned today, I'm pretty thankful I've got that holiday top up. Because without that, things would be looking really dire at the moment. Um, I'm not sure why it's so quiet today. 
I mean, this is peak commuter time. And not, not, not a ping, not a sign of a job. Well, I've just taken a job. It's two miles away. Only about £5.87 coming back up to the station. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get that two miles from to the range um, because this is rush hour traffic and we're pretty stationary. But it's a job, so a job's a job and uh, eventually we'll get there. Right, that £5 job has taken me over the £100 mark. That's £102.79. But it is very, very quiet. Nothing's coming this way at all. Um, it's one past six. You'd think that would be a uh, buzzing, but it's not. Um, don't know why. Tuesdays aren't that bad. Maybe people's just run out of money. I don't know. I don't quite know what to do at the moment. Uh, maybe to call it an easy... Uh, and easy an early night or not the car's gonna go in full of plate MOT tomorrow lunchtime about half past 12 uh, it's gonna take about half hour to get there it needs to be there a little bit early so the uh, up and running at half 11 tomorrow just take the car in for plate so do I stick it out till 8 o'clock which is what I normally do or do I cut it an early night I might stick it out till 7, if it's not picked up by 7, uh, then I'll cut it, cut it a day. Uh, it's pointless driving around, burning fuel, uh, trying to find work, if there isn't any. I just picked up a 458 job, so I only just squeezed in on my minimum fare. Uh, about a mile run, well, 0.8 of a mile run away. Just for 458. It's at least uh, keeping me moving. Well, that was a, just a quick trip up to the station. And I've been here five, ten minutes now and nothing. It is murderous today for jobs. I'm on 107.36. It's a quarter to seven. I might just do one more job and then call it a day and head back home. Because this is not worth sitting out for. I've got better things to do with my time than sit around for pe peanuts. Well, uh, five, well, four minutes to seven, I gave up waiting at the railway station. There is nothing happening anywhere. Um, I'm going to take a drive out towards Dufferin, see if there's anything coming out of uh, that sort of area. I'll only wait five, ten minutes. If nothing happens, I'm just going to call it a day. Um, I'm just wasting my time twiddling thumbs at the moment. Uh, and I can uh, twiddle thumbs at home in front of the TV. And it'll be warmer there. Okay, so I'm at the Asda car park in Dufferin. I'm just going to wait here for ten minutes. It's ten past. Give it till 10, 20 past uh, 7, just if, see if anything comes out. If not, I'll head back home, and I should be back home for half past 7. Now, I started at half past 1, so that's 6 hours. Got £107 on the clock, got to knock off 35, that's £172 in 6 hours. That's what, £10.20 an hour, knock off my £7 an hour costs. I've been working for £3.20 an hour today. Not great. Certainly not great. It basically means I've been driving around for nothing. Um, I'd have done far better. I should have stopped two hours ago, really. Um, but my time is much better spent at home now, uh, working on my Facebook ads my Facebook campaign for the airport transfers uh, and my fishing website then driving around town for three pound twenty an hour um, I think fares are being squeezed I can't be sure today definitely on Sunday fares were very low ball 
today a lot of very low uh, fares were coming out, 328 pound thirty, very low fares. Uh, I think that's going to be the general travel for uh, Uber. Uh, fares, riders' fares will carry on going up, but driver fares will start to go down. Uh, and I think you need to have a plan B now and really put together a plan B for dealing with this. Now, I did a video a little while ago saying that. Uh, Jeremy Hunt has guaranteed £11 an hour from April for new national minimum wage. The word is, it's going to be a lot more than that. Um, the, the wage increases, the average wage increases that is used to calculate the new national minimum wage is taken from May, June of this year. And that was 8.6%. Now, National minimum wage of 10.42, if it goes up by 10.6, 8.6%, 6, uh, will take it up to 11 pound 20, no, 11 pound 30 an hour, just over 11 pound 30 an hour. Now, what people are thinking is because it's an election year next year, a lot of people, a lot of think tanks, think that Jeremy Hunt might put up national minimum wage to at least 11.42 so a pound an hour now if it goes up to 11.42 what that means for us as drivers is that to earn the equivalent of national minimum wage with holiday pay we need to be clearing about 13 pounds 60 an hour 13 pounds 60 an hour after expenses I've just got a 25 pound job to Chepstow so <laughs> caught me just as I was about to head off but anyway that's it I'll do this 25 pound job that's going to help out a lot on my hours because that's going to add on what two three pound an hour onto my earnings so let's get this one done and then head on home sign off and say cheerio later Well, that was a handy little trip from uh, Lidl's in uh, Risca to Lidl's in uh, Bullock in uh, Chepstow. Um, I'll have to check the mileage rates right now. I think that was a little bit of a low ball, but uh, I'm not sure. Let's just go and check and I'll uh, pop back on in a bit. Yeah, now that was another really low ball mileage offer. Uh, that job paid 25.88. And the mileage was 22.1. So £1.17, £1.18 a mile. Very low ball offers uh, that was. Not quite as low as Sunday where I was getting one ten a mile um, for distance work. That is not promising. That's not good at all uh, if things are heading down. Uh, that trip I did earlier to Bristol, that was one thirty a mile which is borderline but okay um 117 a mile not, not a good one uh, not a good one at all okay so that trip out to um bollock the little strip has taken me up to 133.24 so 34 pound of that is a uh, holiday pay top up so close enough 100 pound in what seven and a half hours right so that's it it's quarter past eight um i'm over in chepstow it's gonna take me half an hour to get home it's quarter to nine um i'm going into the quits for now for tonight so thanks for watching please like subscribe and share be interested to see if you think um uber fares are beginning to get squeezed for the driver i think they are I think they're just trialing and testing and trying to uh, squeeze uh, a bit of uh, extra cash out of the driver. Good to hear your thoughts on that. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And happy travels. And uh, keep the money rolling in.